A Little Nightmare Music is the third episode of the second season of Wings. I love the title for this. Obviously, a play on Ina Klein and Ack music. And the episode as well I love. This is, of course, the second time that I've watched Wings. I say, of course. If you don't know, I've seen it already. I'm re-watching it for the purpose of discussing it. And this episode is one that I remembered really well. And as always, there will be spoilers as I go through things and talk about aspects of the episode that I really liked. To be honest, I haven't got that many specific thoughts, but I will go through things pretty much chronologically and it starts off with Faye reading Lowell's fortune because she's going to be working the fortune telling uh, fortune telling booth at a, an upcoming uh, carnival and when Lowell's good fortune comes true Roy asks Faye to read his fortune and I have to say this is really funny and not part of the episode that I remembered and I did not expect it to go this way so there will be spoilers as I said so she reads Roy's fortune but refuses to tell him. She refuses because it's the death card as far as we know. And Roy begins to panic and it actually starts to eat away at him. He doesn't know what to do. So eventually in the episode, he confronts her and says, just read my fortune again. Tell me exactly what it says because I'm stressing out. And she does and she reads it and she says, here it is, the death card. And I think it was the Queen of Hearts. And the penny drops for Roy. That is not the death card. And Faye made a mistake and Roy worried for no reason. It's not the direction I thought that would go and I found it to be very amusing. The main part of the episode focuses on Helen and the fact that this conductor has flown into Nantucket, a character called Edward Tinsdale, played by David Ogden Steers, and she confronts him or talks to him confronts him is too much of a, a forceful word, but she approaches him and she gets too scared to talk to him. So the others, Joe and Brian mostly, come up with a plan to hide one of Tinsdale's bags so that they then have to take it to him later on once they find it. And Helen takes the bag to him where he's staying and she forces her way into his apartment and plays the cello for him and he basically insults her. And I love the fact, I don't agree with what he did, but it was so lovely to see Joe going to confront Tinsdale and saying you cannot just stamp all over somebody's dreams like this. There is a right way and a wrong way to let somebody down. And he's got a very good point. There was absolutely no reason to be so nasty to her. And it was so sweet to see Joe standing up for her. And again, as I said, it's not necessarily an action I agree with because it's an invasion of Tinsdale's privacy. But at the same time, he was nasty. And very entertainingly, when Tinsdale finally agrees to give Helen another chance to play for him, it just so happens that she's right outside the door. She plays again, and we learn that actually he said her first performance was better than her second. And this is something that I find... I'm unsure with how I feel about it. On the one hand, I love what she does next, but on the other, it's a bit heartbreaking because she admits that... She didn't bother practicing the following morning, as she has done every morning for as long as she can remember, and instead she watched the sunrise. Now, on the one hand, I don't think anybody should ever give up on their dreams, regardless of what somebody says to them. If somebody puts you down, but you have a passion, you shouldn't give up that passion. But at the same time, once you let go of that pressure, you're able to enjoy other things in life. If you stop being so fixated on just one thing, as Helen is with the, the cello, as a lot of us are with things that we're trying to achieve, you get to enjoy other things and you allow yourself the time to broaden your experiences, even if it's something as simple as the basic pleasure of watching the sunrise. So I kind of love that message, but also hate it because somebody was nasty to her and she temporarily gave up her dream and I think I guess there's a pro and a con to each side of it but I did think that it was very very thought-provoking about balance and that you shouldn't be fixated on just one thing in life because as Helen feels she's never going to make it so she's wasted all of those hours of course that's not the way to think but you don't know she could live another 30 40 years never make it and die having only ever done one thing, and that's practice the cello. Whereas if she practiced some of the time and experienced life for the rest of the time, it's a much healthier balance. So I did like that part of it, but I can understand that also Helen giving up on her passion because of those nasty words is not acceptable. But as I said, it's an episode that I remembered very well. 
and it doesn't surprise me because it's a really good episode it's maybe not the funniest there were some funny moments but i think it was more thought provoking than laugh out loud funny but either way i thought a little nightmare music was a really enjoyable episode 